Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AEM tutorial. In my last video, we saw how you can install and deploy your AEM project in the local AEM instance. And in this video, we will go through the project structure of our AEM project. And we will also see how you can download Eclipse IDE and how to install AEM developers tool. And we will also see how you can import our demo project of AEM in the Eclipse IDE. So let's get started. So this is the project structure of our AIM project which is called demo training project. Here you can see this is the parent pom, the parent pom file. This deploys the Maven modules and manages dependency versions. And this is the core folder. It includes all the Java code and deploy to the AIM as OSJ bundle. And this is our UI.apps folder. It contains the apps part of the project. So go to the CXT. So this is the apps part. And here we have this uh, demo training project. So that folder will contain all, all the folders inside this demo training. Go back to the project structure. And uh, this UI.content folder, it contains the content and configurations. If you can see, go to the CXDE. So here we have this content folder and conf folder where our editable template resides. And this is the content folder where our websites or pages resides. So it will be contained inside this UI.content folder. And this is the IT.test. It contains JUnit tests that are executed server side. And we have IT.launcher. It contains the code that deploys the IT.test bundle to the servers and triggers the remote JUnit execution. Now let's open this parent POM. So in this parent poem, you will see the modules and these are the properties. So these are the global properties which are set up to deploy the local AIM instance. And these properties can be overridden via command line when deploying to high environments. And this parent poem build five sub modules. These are the core UI apps which we saw here. It contains all these five modules. And it also includes dependency management section and it lists all the dependencies and versions of api to be used in the project one of the key dependency is uber.jar file this is a special jar provided by adobe it includes all the aim apis with just a single dependency entry for the version of aem this entry is for the core components you can find the core components packages in our package manager go to the package manager Here you will see these are the five packages of our project and these three are the four and these three packages are for the core components go to the core folder so this is our core folder here we have this pom let's open this pom file here in this pom you will find this you will find this plugin maven bundle plugin it is responsible for compiling the java code into an osj bundle that can be recognized by osj container so when we installed our project one bundle has been created let's see that bundle so to see that bundle go to the system console osj console this is the bundle which has been created and uh, and uh, one more plugin is there maven sling plugin it allows the core bundle to be deployed to AEM. So let's go to the CXT again and uh, open the CX console. Apps module, go to the apps, go to the demo training and go to the install folder. Here you can find this jar file. So this bundle, so that bundle is a jar that you can find here in the install folder. Now get back to the project structure. Now let's open the ui.app folder and here let's open the pom file. In this pom file, we have a plugin called Content Package Maven plugin. It is responsible for compiling the contents of ui.apps module into an AEM package that can be deployed to the AEM. So we have the package here in the package manager. So that package has been created because of that plugin. So these are the five packages and it has been deployed in the AEM because of this plugin, Content Package Maven plugin. And the embedded text includes the compiled core bundle as part of the ui.apps package and where it will be installed. So it is installed in the install folder and core.wcm.components.all 
is included as a sub package and this will deploy the core component package along with the demo code each time now go back to the structure now let's verify ui dot content so here to the src go to the main content and metanf let's open the filter.xml it defines the list of paths that are packaged and deployed to the aem now we will see how you can add our this project to the eclipse id so to import this project we should have eclipse id so you can go to the link go to the eclipse id for java double e developers you can find this link in my description below so this is the oxygen version you can download this you can click on download 64 bit and download this id and click on download to download this id and also there are various versions four versions of eclipse id here so these are the versions available i want you to download eclipse oxygen you can find this link in my description below you can download it and next after downloading this eclipse and installing it you have to install am developers toolkit so to download am developers tools this is the link you can go here you can find this link in my description below again now go to the eclipse id click on help go to the install new software here click on add here write am developers tools now copy this link and paste here click on ok and after this you can select these two as it is already installed in my eclipse so that's why it is disabled you can you can select these two options and click on next and click on finish after that restart your eclipse so this way you can install the aim developer tools now let's import our demo project so to import our project click on file click on import now here select the maven as our project is maven project and click on existing maven projects click on next and click on browse go to the location of our project in the c i have this demo project click on demo training and click on ok select all these and click on finish so this way you can import our project in the eclipse id if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching